Hello everyone, this is FT McQueen 91. In this video we're going to be talking of how to do a false lab at Interlagos. Um, this is for round 4 of the uh, Manufacturers Championship. So, here we go. We're going to be using this camera for references. The first braking zone, you can see the uh, 100 meter sign and the 50 meter sign. Well, as soon as you you pass the 100 meter sign, you can be really prepared for the braking zone. You have to brake with the car very straight, uh, as close as you can to the 50 meter sign, but um, not when the nose is already on it, you know, because uh, it's gonna be uh, you're gonna go wide, and <laughs> and we don't want this actually. So uh, for the downshifting the the ideal in my opinion is to put second gear in order to fit the car into the apex and then put an early third gear to to uh, to the exit of this corner as you see i put just the second gear i fit the car into this curve at the left hander i already put third gear to uh, to the exit of this corner this is uh, because the car has a lot of torque on the low end uh, RPMs. Okay, we. Ha this is the most difficult part in my opinion. You have to just nail it. Um, touch just two wheels in the curve and two wheels off the track. That's gonna be the fastest way to do it. So, yeah, that can be a problem for sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't really have a, a good advice to to just do it ev uh, good every time. You know, you just have to do a lot of laps, as we've seen. This is my eleventh lap, and and then I was. I don't know. I had a good pace, so I felt uh, a little bit comfortable doing that corner. For the corner, that's next. Uh, it's not bad that we touch that green stuff. That's on the left hander. Actually, then you have to uh, keep the car during the apex because if you went wide of the of this left hander curve uh, as I done in this lap <laughs> could have been I think 0.1 faster um, that's not the main idea but it was a very fast exit too uh, let's let's see I, I should have just keep turning the wheel uh, in order to to stay on this line you know but I went a little bit wide as you saw although it it wasn't slow so was a fast corner exit. As you know, the the peak power of the Dodge Viper it's not at the f a full RPM bar. It's uh, I don't know a little bit more than three four uh, three four. Yeah, seventy five percent of the of the bar. So this is a very very important corner that you are going to earn a lot of time if you do it properly. So soon as you pass this 100 meters uh, sign you have to do a very hard braking as you you will see um, soon as the car passes that you put third gear and take the inside immediately as you see I'll, I'm already on the apex I put third gear as you can see but now for the corner exit I put fourth gear because as I told you the, the car has a lot of torque and the car can want it very straight with this early shifting so you have to be careful to don't go wide and if you go wide you will lose uh, at least point 0.2 that was a very good corner okay this section is also very important you have to break uh, a little bit earlier than the 50 meter sign I went a little bit wide, not taking the whole inside. As you as you know, you you can see uh, some meters on, on the on the track because I want to take the inside on this corner, especially as you see. Well, I flawed a, a little bit, but the car went fast. You have to go as wide as possible. Uh, this could have been a little bit better, a little bit faster. Uh, if you go wider, you can take the next corner way faster. The breaking point, it's well, you can see that green line that it's uh, uh, the left hander. You have to break way before that or a little bit earlier than that. And the key is try to take the 
the inside on, on this next corner, uh, you're going to be much faster if you do it, as you can see. Yeah, I put second gear to fit the car into the apex. I try to uh, floor it in this uh, section in particular. Uh, you will earn some uh, some time, I, I can assure you that. I'm taking immediately the inside. You can't go wide in this corner. If you are, if you do that, for sure you will lose a lot of time. I put uh, once again the third, uh, early third gear. As you can see, uh, a little bit earlier than the end of this green stuff of the left hander, you have to start braking and take the inside, but not the whole inside because there's. Um, this curve uh, will fucked up <laughs> with the uh, with the traction of the of the car. As you see, that's uh, the maximum that you can get. This is a very tricky corner. You have to do it flat out, and during the the inside apex, you have to lift a little bit, and then flat out. Always in the inside. Well. This is a, a a braking zone, very tricky because you don't have much references. Uh, the only thing that I can tell you is that, well, <laughs> it's only that that 50 meter sign. Um, I think I could have uh, braked a little bit uh, more past that I did, but but it was very good indeed. You have to take the inside curve of this next left-hander. Yeah, third gear is the best. You have to be tricky, but you have to take the the, the right-hander curve that is on this part of the track, and now just just flat out, flat out. Okay, we're well, going to check this car. We're going to use this camera. I'll pull up. Very close to the 50 meters. It was very risky braking. I had to keep turning. I was squeezing those tires. As soon as you pass that 100 meter sign, start braking. So, a little bit earlier than the 50 meters mark. Okay guys, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe if you like this video.